Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be checking out Mitsubishi E800 PLC function. There's a PLC inside the drive that is uh, fully accessible with a program called FR Configurator slash Developer where you can pretty much use the IOs from the drive itself to work as a normal PLC function like for the Mitsubishi it would be X's and Y's and you can write up all sorts of different sequences or, or uh, pretty much the PLC program itself that would uh, operate your drive whichever way you like it. So uh, we are definitely going to be checking that out. We're going to be checking out the e-manual, we're going to be checking out the FR configurator and we're going to also going to be checking out the obviously the developer, write up a small program, uh, show ins and outs, how to get started and plus the uh, run the live tests as well. So our uh, manuals and all other uh, links to that I would uh, consider would be beneficial for you all going to be in the definitely in the description below and before we get started guys this drive particular is going to be available on uh, my website if you wish to purchase it and but uh, other than that i do not stock these drives uh, but if you do look for them and you are interested to purchase them definitely check out the link in the description below from lc automation where you can find out full range of the drives on their page and if you're looking for 10% discount from the uh, this price on LC automation get in touch as I just like to be able to sort that out for you or than that let's get started <music> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are in front of a computer. A couple of things I would suggest to have. Uh, one of them would be a uh, obviously a farm configurator, and the other one is the e manual. So definitely get yourself an e manual. This is where you can uh, get your uh, latest manuals downloaded straight to your computer, and it's been managed very well together. So basically, to get, a, get, get any document you're looking for, just go and download, download a new document, select what you need in there, and it will download straight to your. Uh, sort of like a drop down menu in here and in here I've got my uh, uh, manuals that I'm already using and there's a, here is our function uh, manual and there's, there's sort of a nice breakdown what you're gonna need and blah 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 it's, 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 it's all about uh, the PLC function programming inside the E800 series drive so that's how you would get all the information you would need from a uh, manual so having done that so uh uh, next, obviously, let's fire up the FR configurator and get connection to our drive. So, open the project. Let's double check my camera. It's uh, working all right because we've got the window. So here we go. Once we, once we click the um, start the new project, uh, click auto auto recognize. If once your USB is connected, as you can see that in the video in the video in the corner. As soon as it starts exercise, it will recognize your drives very quickly. So there's your drive down here. Click on it and OK it. So that's it. That's your you'll be connected to the drive. Again, the, the video, how mo a lot more about if I configure that is going to be in the description below. Uh, and let's have a look at the parameters in here. Uh, we are connected to it. And let's do the batch read quickly. I'll show you the what uh, parameters that you need to change to get your uh, PLC part in the drive going. So there we go. And in here you can see that the first uh, parameter you will need to change is you, your, uh, like a PLCs, they have like a run and stop button. You do need to create that as well. And that can be assigned to any of the inputs. In olden days you couldn't, you had to be specific. But nowadays in this drive, looks like you can uh, assign it to any input you want. And I assign it to MRS. So every time that will be uh, getting signal from SD. Uh, it will uh, activate your uh, P, as you can see in the video down there, it says P run. That means the uh, the PLC part of it is in a run mode. So uh, that's pretty much what, what was in here. And then the last one uh, you need to do, make sure the 4, 5, uh, 414 is changed to 1. So that pretty much turns on the PLC function of it. And all the inputs and everything like that no longer going to uh, work uh, uh, as they are for the drive. So uh, that's it. That's pretty much when it comes down to FR configurator. That's all you need to do. So we can pretty much, uh, we can lower that. Oh, no, no, not lower that one. So in the start uh, developer, just click on developer. There we go. Developer looks very much like a, um, 
uh, GX works. Uh, obviously, some some functions have been taken, quite a bit of functions have been taken out. Again, that will be for you to figure out because uh, read read through manual is a very uh, good manual, very explains what is what. And obviously, first thing we're going to do is a uh, open a project and it's a simple project FR e, e series uh, type. Uh, it looks like that's only for that. And, uh, and obviously, the ladder, and obviously, you can say, say tell you how you want to structure your things. We go simple, always simple. And in here, as, as you can see, there's nothing there, but because I already have pre uh, uh, run up the program to show you to get, to get started already, so I'm just going to download out of the and the uh, VLC part of the drive select the main and VLC and that's how pretty much we get a information out of the drive picking yes to all thank you very much there we go let me close that one. Oh no 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 I just clicked accidentally no don't do that no don't do that close and close and there we go this is what's inside the drive and this pretty much is going to give you some uh, good explanation how to get yourself started so once you once your sequence is in uh, operation let's go in uh, monitor mode and uh, now that uh, we changed the PLC function so uh, in the e manual you'll be able to find what a thing called the uh, special registers and it is like in special registers all the inputs what they used to be they are assigned as uh, to, to the not special registers sorry special relays assigned to special relays like SM120 will be a start forward and SM1203 will be starting let me just quickly show it to you so inverter we go to software plc function and then we go for plc and then we go device map and as you can see special relays and here it says sm120 inverter operation status control flag start forward so pretty much tells you what each this sm internal bit will uh what they what they're going to turn on so uh in our little program as you can see down here we have a uh, uh, SM120 and SM1203 so start forward with a low speed I think it's a zero to two three hundred uh, uh, medium speed there we go so that way you're just uh, gonna run our preset speed so and uh, to test that as in this part we're gonna get to in a minute to test that it was just uh, Come on, it's on. Yeah, so we're gonna go for debug, modify the value, and in there we can turn things on. As you can see, the drive is oh, running at 30 hertz. Let me turn it off. So basically, it does exactly the same you would do with inter with the external inputs. It's just uh, you can actually. I'm just using the internal uh, end bit for it to turn things on. But down here we got the external inputs down here. So uh, that way you just go and then do the same thing. You can activate what is the zero two. Uh, zero two will be uh, high speed. All right, let's check it out. So. Uh, uh, debug and by modifying that there we go so that way we are going to be spinning the motor forward to the full speed whatever you these these parameters can be changed uh, inside the drive but before this is one thing I can believe but before you can uh, get these bits to work you have to place close some other bits which are SD1149 this is this is this guy in here so I'm using the internal on bit uh, and uh, in here this is SD1149 is the one that controls the uh, allows uh, for the function uh, for the bits to be turned on so uh, if we go for a um, online uh, oh, online and monitoring and then we go to batch monitor and we could type in uh, SD1149 and as you can see in here uh, all my bits are being closed because I have inputted value 4095 and that will close that is in a manual as well you'll be able to find that out so because this is as it powers up it, it, it uses internal bit it's, it's always closed and it, it transfers as FFF which is a maximum 
Then it's transfers that, that, that value into SD1149 and that is enough to close all the bits up. You, this, this is just the example because uh, you can have internally controlled this as well differently. It's like if you don't want other bits to be on, you can control that if you wish to. But uh, it's sort of a, 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 I put it on because I just don't want to, don't want to write up another program in here. So, so every time I want to activate the SM1200 and SM1203, if I want these to work, I need to make sure that the zero bit and a, a, se a second bit is closed. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to keep them uh, closed and then I'll just, uh, oops just activate that and they will work straight away so that's pretty much what you need to look out to make sure that your SD bits are close to what you what to the corresponding bits you are trying to close it so and then it comes then we come down to registry and to get registry working there's one function you need to do you need to close SM1255 this is like a switch that goes between uh, special reloads and special registries so once you close the uh, close the SM1255 it will uh, switch between from uh, special relays and will start reading information from special registries. So that's what we're going to do in here. Uh, debug, modify the value, and we are now putting the switch on. So uh, as you can see now, uh, we have, have uh, SM one two five five. So now, if sorry, if I try to a uh, modify this value, as you can see nothing is happening so now because it's no longer reading from there it's looking from here so uh just to, to say that uh, so make sure that is done if you're working with special registries and in registries i have assigned x1 and x0 so x0 obviously is off and x and uh, x1 is on and in in, in, in uh, move in here you basically move the number into sd which will correspond let me just get up there and one for it, which will correspond to a bit uh, numbering in here. So the 11, uh, H11 will activate uh, corresponding bits in here. So what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to use my station, which is going to be activating the input. And so you can see that moved uh, number 17 in there, which is completely not respond to uh, 11. But to better understand what that means, what I do is go on the 16th bit system in here. It sort of tells you to activate to activate bit zero and a bit four. You need to enter enter a value eleven. That's exactly what we're doing here. And if you want a uh, activate bit zero and bit three, you enter a different value which you would enter in here and which will would transfer the value into here, which will correspond and turn on your drive, which which way where you want to do it. So. And to turn it off, you just send the zero back in it, and it will close all the bits off. And I quickly show you with the force force function as well. As you can see down here, if any of these would be zero down here, and I'll try to put ones in here uh, to close these bits in here, so the, it will not work because it will it will be looking for the confirmation from this guy. So that's why that here is very crucial. So. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's see if we can. Uh, you can force them if you want to. This is like a, a monitoring place where you can play around with your bit. So if you put a, that will be that's reverse. Again, correspond to your manual where it shows you how that how that what what each thing corresponds to. And let's check uh, what is in two. So as you can see down there, you can see you can monitor each values that's changing down there, which can be played with as well. So have fun, boys and girls. That is also things you can do with it. There we go, that's 50 hertz. Let's off it. And let's go for uh, three. And that's the, oh, we already done that one. Off. Uh, let's go a bit four. And as you can see, that will be that setting. That will be the low speed. So uh, hopefully, all this makes sense. It's just, it's just, this is, this video just purposely to show you what can you do. And there is, oh my God, you can do so much sequence into a, um, this PLC. And, uh, I can see a lot of boys who likes to privatize their drives. 
make sure that, 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 that their people would only buy from them because of these specific functions they, they're going to be exploiting this like crazy and that is it, it, it is and a very for the price you pay it was like well let's say 1.75 kilos something about 180 quid for the for the drive with all the plc in there you can ask for more so that's just the uh, as i said it's, it's, it's a fantastic addition i love it i'm sure other drives are doing as well and we'll be sure to check in that as well out so other than that ladies and gentlemen that will be it and i hope i covered and you guys are uh, well on your way understanding how to get the system going for you do leave a comment below if you don't understand something and i will do out my best to help you out because i i gotta i gotta admit at the beginning i struggled myself so i had to read the whole entire manual which took me about a day and a half to figure out how things everything works once i did this pretty much becomes quite fairly easy and then obviously i had a quite a, um, a bit of help from my um, lads from lc automation to show me other bits and things that didn't i didn't know so other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you, thank you very much for watching if you like the video please like subscribe because there's going to be a lot more coming up uh, that we are going to be experimenting with and uh, playing with so uh, the next one we're going to be looking at uh, pretty much doing the wiring on the plc rig so uh yeah so uh thank you very much for watching and uh hope you like the video and i will see you in the next video